Welcome back to Sheena's Homestead and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Sheena and today I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to make raspberry cheesecake bites. I know, I know you're probably saying, Sheena, but that is really hard. We need a water bath and we need to do all these things. But guess what? You don't, you don't even need to make this recipe overnight. This is something that you can make and in a couple of hours in the refrigerator, you can have beautiful, delicious raspberry cheesecake bites ready to go to any family party or event. So come along with me today and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this really is. Today's ingredients, the only things that we need are graham crackers and melted butter for our graham cracker crust. And then we have cream cheese, a couple eggs, some sweetened condensed milk, and I have raspberry powder. As you know, I have a freeze dryer, so whenever I get a hold of a whole bunch of raspberries in the summertime that are inexpensive, I put them in the freeze dryer and we have raspberry powder. We like to add this to our smoothies in the morning and things like that, but it's also a delicious additive to a dessert like this one. And just to mention, you can make these cheesecake bites with any fruit or any topping you like. Okay, so we are gonna begin with our graham cracker crust. It is a classic, it is delicious, and everybody loves the iconic graham cracker crust. So, to begin, we have our graham crackers. Mine are from Trader Joe's. You wanna use about a cup and a half. So this is gonna be about my cup. And this is gonna be my half. And then we are gonna add our melted butter right to the mixture. And then we're gonna blend those up. coconut spray oil and I am just going to spray the bottom of my little pan here. You are more than welcome to use uh, cupcake liners. They're cute and pretty. I just prefer the organic look of the crust when it comes out um, not using a liner. So that's what we're doing today. But feel free to be as creative as you like with your presentation. So now I'm just going to mix this up a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit into each and every cup and then I'm going to use my fingers to press it down. Our crusts are perfect and ready. We're just gonna set them aside while we make our filling now. So I've got a glass bowl and my hand mixer, and I am going to add my cream cheese here. And I have eggs, so we are going to blend this for about five minutes until it is extremely smooth. Okay, well that, my friends, is the hardest part of this entire process. 
it is very important that you mix together your cream cheese and your eggs until everything is completely and totally smooth. But if you think about it, if that's the hardest part, then psh, you've got this in the bag. All right, so our next step is we are going to add our sweetened condensed milk. So we need a whole can. So I'm gonna do this in probably thirds and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of our raspberry powder. If you have fresh raspberries, now is the time to put that in. Okay, and the last step, I'm just adding a teeny half teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. Adds just another layer of flavor. It's very subtle. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. So now we are ready to put our mixture right into our little muffin tins. Okay, now we are ready to pop these into the oven. We don't need a water bath, nothing. They're gonna pop up and look absolutely beautiful and taste delicious. So they're going into the oven at 350 degrees and we are gonna check on them at 15 minutes. Oh my goodness, they look and smell amazing. Oh my gosh. You want to make sure you take them out before you get any little cracks on the top of your cream cheese bun. If you get a crack or two, that is okay. You can just pop them into the refrigerator. These need to stay in the refrigerator for at least two hours before serving. And a lot of those cracks will just fill themselves in because things condense when they get colder. So don't worry too much, but try to take them out before that happens. Okay, so we've taken our cream cheese bites out of the refrigerator. It's been two hours. They're perfectly chilled. They look awesome. In that time, I also made some whipped cream. Super simple and easy. Happy whipping cream. My little tip and secret is instead of regular sugar, I put a little bit of powdered sugar. I feel like it helps keep its form just a little bit and it's perfect for desserts like this one. We didn't use a ton of sugar when we were making these. As you know, we only put in our sweetened condensed milk and that definitely has sweetener in it. We just didn't put anything extra. So I feel like a little touch of sugar in the whipping cream just puts it right over the edge and tops it perfectly, pun intended. <laughs> We are all done 
and I think they look amazing. I'm gonna taste one for you so that you know for sure if it's perfect. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That's it. This is the perfect dessert. Honestly, this dessert is perfect for any occasion. I could see these being extremely beautiful for a baby shower, or you can make them on Valentine's Day and surprise your sweetheart. Um, you, there's so many different ways you can dress these up. Put a couple sprinkles on the top. It's perfect for a birthday. Truly, I love the bite-sized cheesecakes because they're just so much less intimidating and people actually eat them. Sometimes it's hard when you bring a dessert that is whole. You know, you always have to cut it up and, and divide it up, but these are perfect and they are handheld, tasty, delicious, and easy to make. I hope that you decide to make these too, my friends. Please let me know down in the comments what different varieties you've tried and what works best for you. I hope you have a very happy new year. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Sheena's Homestead. Bye, friends.